if you want to market your products or services on the internet, there's a lot of decisions that you have to make and a lot of research that you have to do to make sure that you're choosing the right products in the right categories for you. And in this video, I'm going to share with you what I believe to be the ultimate marketing stack for 2019 and the foreseeable future. And these are the exact tools and services that I use for my business. Hi, my name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make WordPress tutorial videos for non-techies. If you're new here, consider clicking on the subscribe button. If you don't want to miss a thing, click on the notification bell. Now, everything I talk about, I'll have links to in the video description box down below. And if there's enough interest, I will make a video that shows how these all work together and how I use these to have them all work together. Now there's one caveat I wanna give you, these aren't free tools. So some of the tools actually kind of have free versions and there's low cost, but this is the ultimate marketing stack which means these tools cost money. They're just gonna cost money. If you want the best tools in the business, it's gonna cost money. There's just, it's just the way that it is. It's just the way that things work. Okay, so number one, for having a presence on the internet for whatever purpose, WordPress is my go-to. I've tried a lot of software as a service platforms. I find them rigid, they lock you into things and I can never get it to quite do what I want it to do and you're not getting the best of the best uh, for the different categories that you actually need for. So uh, WordPress, it's self-hosted, and then what you need is a web hosting account for WordPress to sit on. Now, WP Crafter, my website, and most of my websites right now are sitting on Cloudways. Now, Cloudways is a little on the technical side. I've been meaning to make a tutorial video on how to set it up, uh, but it's very powerful and it's a very good platform and it's very affordable, as a matter of fact. So you look at the pricing, uh, it's just a really good deal. I pay a lot of money for what I have with them because I use a lot of resources. I think right now my bill runs about $80 per month, uh, but it's I, I have no problem paying for that. Cloudways, um, to visit them, go to wpcrafter.com slash cloudways. As an alternative, uh, you have SiteGround, which is known for having really good support. So we have SiteGround. I also have a few websites on SiteGround. Uh, they have very friendly support. You can also host your emails here where you can't on Cloudways. So that's one little caveat right there. Uh, for SiteGround, visit wpcrafter.com slash SiteGround. Okay, so for WordPress, you need at the core of it a WordPress theme. Now, I really like the Astro theme. Now, this is a, uh, you know, people have their preference of themes, but the reason I like the Astro theme is because their focus is on speed and optimization, but that's not it. So it's free, but they also have a paid version. But where I think the really neat thing with Astro is, is right here where it says starter sites. You click on here and they have created probably over a hundred sites, entirely designed websites that look amazing. And you can literally with like two or three mouse clicks have it on your website. So I'm clicking, I'm scrolling down here and these are, so if it says agency, that's a paid website. So you'll have to have one of their paid versions of Astra. Uh, but if it doesn't have that, it's completely free. Uh, so this is completely free. These, these three right here are completely free. There's a ton of these three right here are completely free. If you're a restaurant, uh, there's so many here that are free. So it's not like they're all paid. However, I use the paid version of Astra and the version that allows me to access all of their websites. So next is the tool to use to build the content in the pages of your website. And right now, I think the best that there is in my opinion, is Elementor. Now, Elementor has a free version and a pro version. For the ultimate marketing stack, you need the pro version. You would come over here where it says features and you could go through these features right here. They're marketing features. So they, with this one page building tool, you can collect leads, you can have uh, create forms, you can, the brand new feature they released, you can have pop-ups, you can create landing pages. There's really not much of a limit on what you're able to do. And they have integrations with a lot of CRMs to pass that information in. So for an ultimate marketing stack, 
app, you need to be able to collect leads and send those leads someplace on landing pages or whatnot. Now, all of these sites back here that are I showed you are Elementor based. So it's all based in Elementor and Elementor is dirt cheap if you ask me. I don't I don't get it. I think it should be more expensive. You can have it be $49 for a single site or unlimited sites for $199. And that is per year. You're going to want to pay per year. Uh, there's one thing that makes this, though, the ultimate, it, it to be included in the ultimate uh, tech stack for marketers. And that is it has personalization options. So if someone, if your website has people log in, you can put their name in all kinds of places, greet them by their name, have things show or hide based upon whether they're logged in. There's personalization. You can also pull in information from the URL. So uh, if you're sending email to your subscribers and there's a link back to your website, you could put a little bit of information in that URL. And when they click on it and come to your website, you could greet them by their name as well. So there's a bit of personalization that you get with it. The pop-ups is really good as well. You can target. So someone you wanted to pop up just to trigger when someone comes from Facebook, you're able to do that. So uh, that is pretty impressive right there. So the next thing is if you're a marketer and you're not just collecting leads, you probably want to sell stuff. And the best way to sell stuff on a WordPress based website, and I think just period, is using cart flows. So cart flows, it sits on top of WooCommerce which is a full featured e-commerce platform that integrates with WordPress. And then when Cardflow sits on it, it really unlocks the power of sales funnels on your WordPress based website. And it gives you the ability to have unlimited sales funnels. They have sales funnel templates in there. They use Elementor. So I'm tying it back to Elementor. So now you can bring that personalization and you can bring in some of those pop-ups, the lead capture forms, all that you can bring it into your sales funnel. But then what this allows you to do as well is add order bumps. So that means when someone's on your checkout page, totally customized, beautiful checkout page, uh, you can have that order bump be in multiple locations. Someone clicks one checkbox, it immediately gets added to the order, but it doesn't stop there. Then it gives you the ability to reorder the checkout fields. There's a ton of optimizations, but when someone clicks on that checkout, then it could take them to an upsell, a series of upsells and downsells, and then to a customized thank you page, a full sales funnel functionality. It's very impressive. Here's a bunch of the templates that you can see right here. So right now I'm just looking at all of them and these are done in Elementor. So if you wanted to see the landing page templates right here, uh, they're right there. Uh, we have, uh, there's checkout templates right here. They're beautiful. They're all just beautiful. The beauty of this is you can use Elementor to, which gives you full design control. It's the best page builder I've ever used. You can use that to create your sales funnel and your checkout experience. Uh, so cart flows, let me go to the pricing here. It is $2.99 per year. So remember in the beginning, I said that this is the ultimate marketing tech stack and it's going to cost some money. So this is $2.99 per year worth every penny. There are people using it. You've got uh, testimonials right here from Troy Dean and Chris Lemma. People are using this to make a lot of money. It makes adding e-commerce to your website very easy and more profitable. And here's a list of those features right here. There's a few coming that are not out just yet, which is split testing. I'm really looking forward to split testing coming out soon. Ah, but darn it, I've already screwed this video up. Uh, on Elementor, it also has countdown timers, which are very important. Evergreen countdown timers as well, which is very important. Okay, uh, and you can integrate that with your uh, checkout pages and all that kind of stuff. So the next one is optional, okay? And that is WP Fusion. For me, it's not optional. I think this is a hidden gem for WordPress users. And it costs a little bit of money, but this is the ultimate tech marketing stack. So what WP Fusion does is it works with Elementor, it works with WordPress, it works with Cart Flows, and it allows you to 
sync everything into your CRM. And there is a number of CRMs right here. So uh, for example, one of the CRMs I use is Modic. You don't get Modic integration with, uh, with Elementor's forms. Okay, so th this is one thing. So you can capture data using Elementor's forms and push it into your CRM. You can, it's like tag city here. You can tag people to better understand who they are. So when you're using Elementor, for example, and you create a button, you could have it be so when someone clicks on that button, it adds a tag to their record in the CRM. And this is going to allow you to know what your people on your website are doing so that you can better understand them, better communicate with them, better understand who your customer and your website visitors are. So insane, um, okay, well, here's a list of their main features right here. So there's this user sync where it syncs everything from your, your CRM into your WordPress website, which is also gonna make it easier to use that personalization feature in Elementor. Uh, insane tagging. You can do some crazy, crazy tagging uh, to really, with, with, uh, with all kinds of different behaviors. And also in Elementor, you can have a section of content that is viewable depending upon tags that the visitor on your website has. So you can really have dynamic websites like that membership. So you won't need a membership plugin. You can allow membership access to the people on your website based upon the tags that they have in your CRM. So the CRM can really be your hub. There's e-commerce features, which is essentially going to be tagging based on product purchases and things of that nature, but it also has a cart abandonment. There's a chart though that tells you which CRMs this the card abandonment works with and doesn't work with uh, and then we have uh, online courses uh, right here so it integrates with that amazingly well so you can tag based upon your learners progress inside of your courses <laughs> it's pretty amazing stuff um, so you can even call them request a call to understand more about what it does and what it can do for you so let's see the price of this right here uh, this is probably one of the more expensive tools out of this ultimate marketing stack. And here it is right here. This is what I have access to, the Plus plan. It's $347. It includes the add-ins, all the integrations, and all of that. So the last thing is going to be a little more niche -y. So if you want to have online training courses on your website, then you have Learn Dash right here. So you can visit uh, wpcrafter.com slash Learn Dash to come straight on over here. Now, Learn Dash has a big update coming out in 2019. I think it's really like a month or two away. It might come out in March is my guess. I was told February, so I'm guessing March or April because some of the times these things just take a little bit long. Now, Learn Dash in this update I hear is going to totally redo the user interface experience for the user that's learning on your website, your students, your learners, but then also in the back end, it's going to totally change that as well. Massive improvements I'm hearing. These are rumors at this point, but I hope to get a copy in my hands within the next 30 to 60 days. Now on my website, I'm actually not using Learn Dash, but I'm strongly, strongly, strongly considering switching over to Learn Dash. Uh, because of this update and what I'm being told is coming. Now, Learn Dash integrates with everything with WP Fusion, with Cart Flows, uh, with Elementor. It just works with everything. So, let's take a quick look at the cost of Learn Dash. It's actually very affordable. Uh, so, it looks like uh, the package you're going to probably want is this plus package right here and it's $189. It comes with some analytics and everything, uh, but this is a full featured learning management system that's trusted by many universities all over the place. So that is the last tool that I have listed here. So we just to recap, 
WordPress, we have Cloudways, and if you don't wanna have some of the technical aspects of Cloudways, you can go with SiteGround, which you might get a different level of support. The Astra theme, you could go with the free theme uh, if you wanted on this one, or if you wanted access to other templates. Elementor, the page builder, I love this. And uh, then we have Cart Flows, which is a total game changer for e-commerce on WordPress. It's amazing. Also, uh, I'm biased. Uh, let me just reveal when you scroll all the way down. I'm the co-founder of this product. A lot of my time and effort has gone to make this the perfect product for marketers. Uh, and then WP Fusion, and if you're doing learning management, you would go ahead and add on Learn Dash. So obviously it's not the, 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 the low cost tech stack, uh, but it's the ultimate marketing tech stack if you ask me. And everything just works perfectly together. So I'll have links to everything down below. A lot of the products, when you click on the link, it might go to some training bonus that I have for it. And if there's enough interest, I'll show how to make all these work together. A lot of it is would be cart flows and WP Fusion and Learn Dash Elementor, getting those all working perfectly together. So, uh, hey, if you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. If uh, Also remember to subscribe and click on the notification bell. I wanted to ask you, though, before I end this video, what do you think the ultimate marketing tech stack is? I know that I have my tools and there's alternatives. There's alternative hosts. There's alternative themes. There's alternative page builders. Uh, there isn't really many alternatives to cart flows. Uh, there really isn't at all. Uh, and then there's uh, not really an alternative to WP Fusion. Uh, so what is your ultimate tech marketing stack? I want to hear from you in the comment section down below. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I hope you had in, uh, fun watching it, and I'll see you in the next one.